Hi guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about episode 4 of Agatha All Along. Now, if you haven't seen episode 4 of Agatha All Along, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. So, here's my review for episode 4 of Agatha All Along. I felt sorry for Alice when she told Lilia and Jennifer that her mom died on tour. But I, just like Jennifer, was wondering what Alice meant when she said that the reason she joined them on the road was because her mom told her that the road would protect her. And when you think about it, it did. It also wasn't a surprise that Rio replaced Sharon. I mean, they needed a green witch, and Rio is the green witch even though it clearly annoyed Agatha. But it was pretty funny when Jennifer said that she wasn't sure if she hated Rio or if she wanted her phone number. And Lilia and Alice agreed. I can't wait to find out what Lilia's outbursts mean, especially since in this episode she said Alice don't, but when Alice asked her don't what, Lilia had no idea what she was talking about. It also wasn't a surprise when Agatha tricked Rio by secretly letting Lilia, Jennifer, and Alice hear Rio say that she was waiting for Agatha to kill the other witches so she'll get her bodies, which understandably made the other witches upset. Now, I know that Rio's real identity has been leaked, but I'm not going to say what it is in case anyone watching hasn't seen that. I don't want to spoil it for you. All I'll say is that there were moments in this episode that confirmed who Rio really is. When Teen was thrown through the glass by the curse and Agatha was concerned, it was clear that Agatha believed that Teen was her son since there's no other reason why she would care that much. It was also a really sweet moment when Agatha realized that Lorna's ballad was a protection spell and had been keeping Alice alive. I also really loved seeing the coven singing Lorna's Ballad, and I was also really proud of Alice when she killed her family's curse. 
It was really sad to see how upset Agatha was when Teen was injured and she was asking Jennifer what she needed to save him. And luckily, Jennifer was able to save Teen, even though I didn't really think that Teen was going to die, since we don't know who he is yet. Even though his identity was also revealed in the same leak that revealed who Rio really is. It was also really sweet that Agatha stayed near Teen until he woke up, but when he woke up, she obviously didn't want him to know that she cared, and she also wouldn't tell him when he asked her what happened to her son. It was also interesting when Teen asked Agatha if she put the sigil on him, and at first she said no, but then she said that she wouldn't know if she did. It was nice to see Lilia, Jennifer, and Alice bonding around the fire. And I liked that we got to find out about how Jennifer's magic was bound. I also wanted to know more when Rio told everyone that she had to do something that she didn't want to do, even though it was her job, and she ended up hurting someone she loved, and that that person was her scar. It was obvious that she was talking about Agatha. And for a moment, it looked like things between Agatha and Rio were going to be good. But before Agatha kissed Rio, Rio told her that Teen wasn't her son, and Agatha walked away. I'm wondering if it's possible that Agatha unknowingly put the sigil on Teen so she would never know his real name and could pretend that he was her son. But now that Rio's told Agatha that he's not her son, I'm wondering if something else happens to Teen, will Agatha still care? Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw episode 4 of Agatha all along, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And if you want to see my previous reviews for Agatha All Along, check out the playlist. And if you want to see my future reviews for Agatha All Along or any of my other future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!